Dakota, Lakota Sioux, so we're from Sitting Bulls people. Um, people often ask me, am I a folk artist? Um, am I a traditional visual artist? Um, and with that, I can't put myself in one category. Um, how I can best describe what I do and who I am as an artist is a student of my cultural continuum. So being an artist um, has given me the capacity to express myself. Um, tell my story, tell my people's history, um, and for sure it'll be keep it'll keep going through my daughters. Um, I've taught them so much, and my mom has taught them so much, and my aunts and my grandmother. Never ending creative process. Um, we get inspired through nature. We get inspired through um, contemporary worldview. You know how I thought of my world when I was 12 isn't necessarily how my daughter is now when she's 12. Um, but it's the same thing, it's her interpretation, and we just keep growing as people. And that language is still there, culture is still there. You know, all of these forms of art are flourishing. Maybe not in contemporary art society when I first started, but now they are. And the Calgary Stampede has always been a part of that. My artwork is abstract landscapes for the Canadian prairies. I try to use color, mood, and emotion to create paintings about our surroundings. The inspiration for my art is driving through the Canadian prairies. I love the vast sky, the open spaces, and trying to be able to have a mix of where we live today in the urban cities and our former rural surroundings. 
It is an honor to be part of the Calgary Stampede, at such, especially at such an important year. It is really important for me because my work is very contemporary and I find the Calgary Stampede is full of history and nostalgia. To ch so to be able to show my contemporary artwork at such an event is really important. I also have a bit of a personal connection to the Calgary Stampede. Back in the 20s to the 60s, my grandfather was an infield announcer for almost 40 years. I didn't know him, so this is really a good way for me to be able to have a connection to my family past. I think it is important to be an artist, because art is a way of being able to track who we are and where we are going. For me, I try to interpret ordinary places and things in new ways and I find this process to be both challenging and rewarding. Uh, as an artist, I'm always very aware of the surroundings and uh, we probably have the most beautiful scenery in the world, in our mountains, and uh, it's it's the scenery and it's also the people that make make a uh, make a country, make the province. The inspiration comes from many different sources. For me, it can be something that uh, that uh, that I have read. It can be music that I listen to, and it's also surroundings uh, and where I live. And uh, here, it is a lot of it is the Western heritage and the native heritage. I got very fascinated lately in reading uh, stories about uh, native, folk native folklore. Calgary is the stampede, or the stampede is Calgary, at least for a few, year, a few weeks every year. And uh, having artwork at the stampede probably uh, reaches more people, uh, local people as well as visitors, than any gallery I could ever have it in. I also feel that uh, the, it brings art to the people. A lot of people that normally would never go to an art gallery go to the Stampede, so the Stampede is, is a very good venue for showing my art. Everybody needs cheering up. Uh, look, we're having about six months of winter and snow and not much color there, so it brings color out to the people too. It's, uh, it cheers them. It should be cheerful for me uh, that I've been. and also that it it reminds them of something that uh, that is very dear to them. Hi, I'm John Grano. I paint in a Western landscape format. The inspiration for my paintings is the land behind me, the valley that runs back all the way to the Juan de Fuca Strait. Being chosen to participate in the Calgary Stampede this year is a great honor. It affords me an opportunity to bring my work back to Calgary where I studied at the Alberta College of Art and Design. What's important to me about being an artist is that it gives me an opportunity to show what only nature can bring us. The beautiful changes in light, and shade, and the emotions that just a simple landscape can evoke. excited that you've allowed the artists to participate this year and be able to interact with the, with the people. I think that's awesome because people want to have work where they've met the artist. They make a connection with the art and then they make a connection with the artist and that's a really good thing. Living in this area, we're so blessed. We have such a wonderful landscape, such diversity. We've got prairies, we've got badlands, we've got mountains, we've got foothills. We've got everything just within an hour radius of where we live here in Calgary. So that's what I explore in my works. So I can pull out those things that attract me and, and make more of them. I tend to push color a little bit in my work. So my work tends to be very colorful because it's the color that I see and that you would see if you stopped and really looked into it for a long time. So with my art, I hope that people will see what they normally just pass by, that there's beauty there that they've missed. So. Painting has a story. 
because something happens every time you go plein air painting. So, you know, somebody's attracted to a painting, whether it's, I had one um, in the gallery that's looking down Policeman's Creek at the east end of Rundle Ridge, and it was a very hot summer day and the atmosphere was just really thick. You know, in the summer it can get quite hot. And um, so in the painting, I was just able to capture that feeling of standing there in that heat. And um, so, you know, the colors are quite unusual because of just what happened. It just was what I was inspired to do that day. So. Usually people buy a painting because it has a personal connection with them, whether they've been there before or the feeling in the painting is something they can really connect to. And um, so hopefully they continue to love it. I never tried Coast to coast From town to town Living a gypsy's life Crack windshield Hands on the wheel Wearing out the radio Me and my uncles Me and me And a million more to go Right here on that open Everything 